Um, I'm Leslie. I'm Eric. And in this video, we're going to talk about our well, tourist things we did in New Orleans, which mostly I did because <laughs> Eric worked all the time. The, so, the whole time we're there. Yeah, Leslie will be better to tell you about a lot of these things since I did not experience them. Yeah. Um, you did a little bit, though. We yeah. did go out the. So we walked around the, the French Quarter, which is fun, interesting. Um, we got we took an Uber, and we went to a, a breakfast place called the Ruby Slipper, which was very nice. And then we walked to a place where we got picked up for our swamp tour. Yep. And that was Cajun Encounters. Yeah. And we had a good. That was fun. That was fun. We saw some alligators, and of course, the swamp's beautiful. Yeah, that was it. Was fun. I prefer questions about this swamp. <laughs> you can ask whatever. I do my best to answer. Safety first. That is our number one goal. Try to keep y'all safe. Try to emphasize. Uh, it's not like four or five years ago. Oh, was it? Yeah, the the Southern Wild. Did you even taste it for a piece of salad? No. That's not We got back to the French Quarter, then we went to dinner at the Mississippi River Bottom. Well, it's a bar. Bar. But then they, the food was done by someone else, but it was good. It was very good. Yeah, we had the char-grilled oysters, and they were some of the best we've ever had. Yeah. They yeah. did them just the way I like them. Yeah, they were very good. Yeah. Um, what else did we do? Other days, when I was down there by myself, I went to the Pharmacy Museum. Very interesting. Also hit Cafe Du Monde, because that's just something you're supposed to do. took a walking tour that was um, based out of the, I think it's the 1850 House Museum, the three museums down there. And good idea. I went on Monday, the first time that it was open on a Monday in a long time, so there was nobody there, which was very nice.
I know what I did in the French Quarter. I went to the New Orleans School of Cooking. And that was very, very cool. Got to learn about making gumbo and jambalaya and pralines. So that was cool. Um, shows bread pudding, right? Bread pudding. Why do you think that is? Because it's delicious. <laughs> it's not that good. It's, about, it's primarily because of our bread. It changes all the way to a beautiful, rich, dark chocolate brown. Can you see this is nice and blended and very smooth and creamy? Um, I also did a walking tour of the cemetery and the garden district. So I've, I've learned a lot of New Orleans history, a lot that I didn't know before. It's kind of like my history started with the um, Louisiana Purchase. I really didn't know that much about the history before that. So that was very interesting. Um, what else? I went to the cooking museum, the beverage and cooking museum. I'll have to see what the correct name of that is. And I guess that was all of our main stuff other than other restaurants, some restaurants out of the town. I went to that River Shack Tavern. Yep. Um, and one, uh, oh, I know what, what? another fun one was the restaurant at the RV park at Pontchartrain Landing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Actually, uh, we, it was worth going back to. So even when we were staying at the KOA, we went back for a little bingo action on <laughs> Thursday night and the food's very good. And, uh, it's on the lake. It's on the lake and yeah. it's a lot of fun. So it was a good stop just for any time that you're there. You don't have to be staying at the, the campground. And the, that crab, what was the name of that crab restaurant? The Crab and Oyster House? I don't know. I will have to, but we went there twice. I will have to look at the exact yeah. name of that. So, all in all, we did a lot of exploring. And it's a fun area. There's a lot to do, and the food seems like it's all really good. Yeah, that was fun to be in an area that has such a predominant... Uh, different cuisine. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, so much. You, just, you encounter the same stuff everywhere. So that was that was nice to have different kind of food. Yep. And that is about it. I guess one of the best foods things we had was we got to go to a real crawfish bowl. Not the other ones aren't real, but to actually <laughs> to a to just a regular person's house. And we were invited to one of Eric's um, subs and had a crawfish boil there so that was yeah and that was the best ever that that's the the real deal so thank you wesley for yeah. that <laughs> yeah that was great so um if you have any questions ask them below and give us a thumbs up and please subscribe and we'll talk to you soon bye